guys, so today's video I was super excited to film. I actually had something different planned to be filming today. I was supposed to be filming my Ofer Liquid Lipstick Swatch video, but I really wanted to do this because Kathleen Lynch just posted about a new powder, or not a new powder, but a powder that she just recently discovered that she thinks works exactly the same as the Laura Mercier powder, if not better. So I wanted to do a side-by-side -side face comparison and kind of take you throughout my day wearing the powders and just kind of comparing the two. So I'm going to be comparing the Laura Mercier powder and the RCMA No Color powder. The price difference between these two is completely ridiculous. This one is $37 for one ounce and this one I purchased this whole tub for $20 and it has 10 ounces. So basically this powder cost me $2 an ounce and this product cost me $37 an ounce if you want to look at it that way. They also have a smaller version of this and I believe it's three ounces for $10 but $3 and some change per ounce is definitely way cheaper than $37 an ounce. I'm going to be applying my foundation on camera. I'll have my eyes done already. I'm applying my foundation on camera and also my concealer and I will be doing the RCMA side on the right side and using the Laura Mercier powder to set my left side and kind of just taking you throughout my day just to see how both of these powders hold up, if they're even comparable to each other and all that kind of stuff. So if you guys want to see a comparison between the RCMA No Color Powder and the Laura CA translucent powder then just keep on watching. So the foundations that I'm using today are the infallible pro matte foundation and I'm going to be mixing it with the Maybelline fit me dewy and smooth and then because that's gonna be a little too dark I'm just gonna add a little bit of my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer into the foundation mix and then dotting it onto my face. And by the way my skin type is oily. I have very oily skin. I turn into a grease ball. Okay, so that is my face with the foundation on. And then I'm going to be using the Instant Age Rewind. I want to see how these two products control creasing underneath my underneath my eyes because I do have fine lines under there. And for concealer, I always like to spritz my Beauty Blender with Max Fix Plus. So I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to be taking the two powders and setting my face. I'm going to be dipping the Beauty Blender into the Laura Mercier powder just like this. And I'm going to be just pressing this into the under eye area. And then I like to also press it into this region over here. Um, let's see if I can get, I'm gonna get it on my eyebrow, but that's okay, I can always fix that later. I like to press it into this area just because this is where I tend to get very, very oily. So I'll press it there, I'll also press it on the side of my nose, and on uh, like half of my chin. This side, um, I have tried powders that feel very drying on the under eye area. I don't have like dry patches, um, sometimes I'll get like dry eyes like on the top, but under the eyes I don't really have a problem with <coughs> excuse me, any dryness, but I have tried powders like the IT Cosmetics powder, I really do like it, but the only thing is when I use it to like kind of like bake my face, it I can just feel my, I don't know, I just feel like my face is just like shriveling up. This one with Laura Mercier I have absolutely no problem with it, and then now with the RMCA No Color Powder. This one is a like a stark white powder and I'm just going to be placing this under my eyes. It does come off a lot lighter, I feel like, because it's just like a white, a white color and the Laura Mercier is yellow. But you will see after that it doesn't leave any type of like ghostly cast under my eyes. I've been sitting on my face for like a couple minutes already. I'm just taking this brush and dusting off that Laura Mercier powder. Now I'm going to be setting the rest of my face with the same powders. Now that I am done setting both sides of my face, I'm going to look super closely and see what the difference is and let me tell you they look exactly the same. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell like a difference between both sides but so far they look the same. I will put on the rest of my makeup and I will tell you how things lay on top of these powders. Honestly, I feel like they're going to be exactly the same, but 
I will let you guys know. Both of the products went on very smoothly. I didn't see like a difference from my, I don't know, my daily routine. Both of them went on nicely. Both of the sides are still pigmented. So I will be showing you guys a flash photography picture just so that you can see how both of these products are on my face just to make sure that both of them don't give like a white cast or anything. So I took a photo in my closet because that's where it's the darkest and both sides look amazing. Neither of these products give you like that white flashback ghostly kind of look so that's great. Okay so I apologize for the kind of mess in the back. I was filming right over there but this is what the powders kind of look like on top of my skin in natural light. Don't know if you guys can see it um, but this is the RCMA side and this is the La Mercier side. Both of these products do not look cakey on my skin at all. Both of the powders are, I think, e they're basically equally fine. Um, and they, it's really hard for this powder to look cakey, even if you use a lot of it. Yeah, this is the starting point, and I will catch up with you guys in a little bit. So, I just got back from running errands. I went to the mall, I had to get, like, a bra, and then... Um, I went to the grocery store and I also got myself some food. This is called pho and it's like a Vietnamese little soup and it's really, really good. I haven't started eating it yet, but I put all the sauce in it, but I want to give you guys an update first. I also got Thai tea. Um, I went next door. They have a Thai restaurant next door and I got that. Um, but update on the makeup. Honestly, my face is pretty oily, but this is nothing out of the ordinary. Oh. Currently 513 by the way. Both sides, my makeup is still on my face, my blush and my bronzer, and everything's looking exactly the same. So I will give you an update at the end of the day and I will see you guys then. I just wanted to update you guys one last time. It's about 8.45 right now. Um, and my face is looking like a complete grease ball. <laughs> um, but that's completely normal for my type of skin. I get oily literally within a couple of hours. Um, so this is normal for about six hours of wear. I usually have to blot or something, but I decided not to because I already feel like I know how both of these products compare to each other. If I'm going like this and I'm looking at the shine on my face, it's equally shiny. Um, the bronzer and blush on both sides stayed. So my final thoughts on both of these products is that I absolutely love this powder before I even knew about this one. I got this maybe like a month ago maybe a couple months ago, I don't know. But I bought this and I loved it. Um, this is probably the best setting powder that I have ever used to date. But to find an alternative that works exactly the same way for a fraction of the cost, if you're someone who has not tried the Laura Mercier powder but has been wanting to, don't even, don't even buy this. I promise you this works exactly the same, or at least for me it did. I didn't see any difference between the two, except for the fact that this is a lot less expensive. I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but I did purchase this from Beautylish, and I think they might be sold out because Kathleen already talked about it, and whenever she talks about something, it always just kind of sells out. But if they do still have it online, I will link it down in the description box below. This is going to be my new setting powder, and I will probably have this Container probably for the next couple of years obviously this isn't ideal to kind of travel with so I might just like I have a couple of empty like setting powder containers already I'll just dump this into one of the smaller containers to travel with but this stuff is amazing I will leave the links to purchase everything down in the description box below I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you guys want to see more like kind of comparison videos between like different dupes and all that kind of stuff then definitely let me know because I'd love to do them for you. You can get your hands on the RCMA powder, get it, because it's so inexpensive and it works just like a high-end product, which, I don't know, just it blows my mind. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!